Hi, Julie Torrance here. Okay, so I've got the journal sewed up, the journal cover. That's where we left off. I had finished making the cover and I did put the pocket in so it's ready to have its insides um, sewn in. I first just sewed, and you can see the stitching, not around every piece of collage, but just kind of followed it around and then put the pocket and sewed around. So that's how I put this guy together. So let's give it a fold and it's gonna resist. That's okay. Just coax it along ever so gently because we don't know where that bubble paper is inside and where we're trying to give it a fold. So it, it takes a little bit of coaxing and then I'm just gonna go ahead, once I feel happy with how it went together, this is the front cover. I'm gonna just grab a clip, sorry for the reach, and give it a clip shut so that it starts getting used to being closed. Set it aside. Now, here's my makeshift file folder. Here are all of our pages that we did, and then I've got some add-ons. So, these are eight and a half by 11, and it's the watercolors that I went ahead and printed out because my watercolor paper won't fold. And let's just start putting some other things with it. So I like this as our opening page and I've got writing space right there, plus more if I want. Now let's get something else in here. So what something else's do I have? I've got some doily, a doily. I've got another one in here that I just sprayed with spray inks. I've got an envelope. I've got, this is a piece of card stock that I thought would be a nice, you know, different texture. Couple of sheets of just colored paper, colored printer paper. And frankly, I just picked the one I had the most of. A piece of tracing paper that I cut down to eight and a half by 11. Here's another doily. Let's start with these. And what I've got here is I went through my dictionary, my dictionary that's for crafting like this, and I pulled out one that the two would be joined. You just kind of have to, you know, fold page through. I'm knocking things over. Page through, and you'll find where you come to where it was, in this case, sewn. This was one sheet. All right. Maybe someday I can kind of show you what I'm talking about because that doesn't even sound very clear to me. All right, I'm getting my glue book and I'm just going to put some washi and I'm just going with some washi that I already have on my desk. Here, I like this. This is maps. And I'm going to just pull a little more than I need, but I want, because we're going to be stitching right there in that holy seam. So let's just get the washi here and I'm grabbing a glue stick. Ay ay ay. This one hasn't been used yet. Let's get one that's been used. And come along washi. Always a bit of a challenge. There we go. Fiddly is what it is. Once you start getting the glue stick on it, though, it seems to calm down. Whoa, she says as it flies through the air. Glue stick, I mean, not glue stick. Washi is not designed to stick forever. So that's why I like to add some more glue. All right. Oh, sorry. Did I bang you? I'm sorry. All right, here we go. And let's get this on here. I purposely went over and those can just fold over. And that was so much fun. 
let's do it again. <laughs> All right. Now this is going to be tucked in to a seam, so the washi tape's not going to show very much. It may show some, but if it's not perfect, I'm not worried about it. I mean, I want my journals to always look nice and neat. I don't want them to look like I just slapped them together, but, you know, some things are just a little more in front, front and center than other things. Okay. Now, you could just take two dictionary pages and just washi tape them together. You don't have to find them that are hooked together. But it was easy for me to do that, so that's what I did. Okay, so now this is ready to go in the journal. So let's give it a fold. And that can be our second page. It's a little long. Let's see if it will fit. If it won't fit, I'm gonna trim it down. We've got plenty of margin. Yeah, it will, it needs to be a little bit shorter this way. And you know what? I'm not gonna try to tear it and all that. I'm gonna just cut right along this and see where that gets us. Still wants to stick out. I hate to cut that bird off, but sorry bird. Okay. Hope no one's going to grab my journal and look up, try to look up a word because they, they won't get the whole definition. All right. Now, as long as it's in the middle, it'll, it'll fit fine. It, it's a little larger, but that's okay. All right. So now we've got that page. Now, let's grab another page. Now, this one I already did journaling on because I wanted you to be able to see. I think what I may do though, is fold it this way. Because I think that looks nice up against the dictionary page, don't you think? I'm having a second thought though. Yes, it would be fine if it hangs off top and bottom, but truthfully, I think it's going to make it a little bit harder for me to line things up and sew them. In true junk journal fashion, I'm just eyeballing it. All right. Now, here, here. And there's that. And that's fine. Okay. How about a plain sheet and a doily? Oh, everything's falling. That's okay. I can reach it. I like the green, and I don't mind it with up against that red. So just fold this in half. And put that one in there. And I'm going to fold this doily in half. I love the shocking color against the color. I love color. So that can go there. Good. Okay, another one of our pages. Hey, this will look. This will look nice. See, like that. I love that. Okay. Let's do that. And now I have to rescue a sheet. Sorry. Let's have our, this is a piece of tracing paper. Most, uh, I have found buying tracing paper, it's nine by 12. So I cut it down to eight and a half by 11. Let's, hey, why are you giving me a heartache, huh? 
may not be folded perfect, but I don't think I don't think we're gonna notice that little bit. Okay, good. And now maybe how about this heavy one? Now we gotta we gotta move this aside, hopefully not throwing it on the floor. Oh no wonder it felt so heavy. I thought, wow, this is really some substantial cardstock, but one is enough. And then I do have my bone folder out. Bone folders do help folding. And you can use the handle of scissors. You can use a lot of things, but it really knits. It knits the fibers of the paper together and it squashes out the air. So, all right, let's see where we're at. Do I have it all? Yeah, okay. And here... Love it, love it. Feels like, um, oh, what is that paper we use as children? Construction paper, but it's not. It's, it is not. It is cardstock. Okay. Good. Now one of our sheets again. The autumn one I like. Good. Now, let's see. Things kind of went flying. Let's not get worked up about it. Let's just look. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. This is just a page from a catalog. But I love the paper. The catalog is eight and a half by 11. The paper is heavy and matte, so I just thought that'll be, that'll make a pretty, pretty space. And I have another doily that I want to put right there. Now I am not loading this all down with a lot of pockets and tucks and things. I can always add them as I'm moving along. And that's fine. It doesn't it doesn't have to be. All right, I'm going to just give this a a tap. And they're varying in size a little bit there. And now this is our center. Yay! Okay, great. Now, I'm seeing some upside downness. Yeah, when did I turn everything around? That's why you want to page through before you start stitching the thing together. Okay, we're going to give it a page through. Here, 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 aha, upside down, let's turn it around. And tap it back together. Okay. Grab the rest of the book. It's falling apart. Yep, it's a little fiddly, <laughs> but it's worth it. All right, now there. And now we've got a piece of tracing paper. And just use what you have. Old stationery. Um, you know, just to blend in with all of your beautiful watercolors. Now, here is this. This is kind of plain against plain, isn't it? Let's, let's not have that. Let's find that catalog. I think the catalog sheet would go good there. And this can still go here.
I like that much better. Okay. So we're on, we're, we're cooking on gas here. We've got it the right way. And here, and here, love that. And there's our middle. Okay, I think we're doing good. Now the doilies, they may migrate back and forth, but they'll be caught by the stitching. And if they're a little bit high or a little bit low, that's fine with me. Okay, now we've got this put together. We're confident that it's all right way up. So let's get the cover. Okay, here's our cover. Here's our middle. Now, I would say putting together a journal, what we're doing right this minute, which is centering all the paper in the cover, that's one of the hardest things for me to get good. Now, I'm clamping it here, and now I'm going to grab, I'm going to clamp it. Well, let's, let's not have that boarding house reach. All right. And I'm going to clamp it here. And I learned that from Gail Agostinelli, clamping like catty corner, and then come back here. That clip is too small. Can you tell sometimes I get impatient? <laughs> We're not fussing with all that. Okay, one more. One more. Okay, we've got it together. Now, all right, now we're gonna sew it. Stick my glue book here. And I have this little kit that I got from Amazon. And I'm just looking like what would be a good color you know, I've got these two neutrals, navy blue, no. The rest of them are dark, so it's going to be one of these two. And I think I'll go with the darker of the two. Oh, I need my needles. Now, I bought my needles separate because this kit came with needles that were all curved. And I'm not really sure that I can handle that gracefully. Okay, turning it sideways, and I want three lengths. Generous. One, two, three. Grab a scissor. This is waxed thread. And, you know, when you find yourself a, a book binding kit, you will uh, usually get some of this, but you can also buy it separately. But I highly recommend it. I know people use things like embroidery floss and they use dental floss and and that's fine and if that's what you have go ahead and use it but once you get if you know if you decide I really like this and I want to keep doing this you'll find this is just a little bit easier to work with also if you're a sewer if you have a chunk of wax you know beeswax that you can just run along your thread then you'll be fine all right so to start making holes so I can sew this together I'm just eyeballing and I can see the crease eyeballing the middle and I'm just going to give it a stab yep and now I push it through to make the hole just a little bit bigger and this is an awe I think it's a w e now I go about an inch or so and I, I like to try to hold my book a little bit closed so I really get it in the the ditch and get it through and give it a push okay one more and I'm looking at the one side and trying to be as close as I can but I don't lose sleep over it and now push it through okay so now we've got our holes we're gonna start sewing you're going to have a bow or a knot or something. If you want it on the inside, start 
in. If you want it on the outside, just put your needle out. Going right through the center. And I'm gonna leave a somewhat generous tail. Gonna go back up through the top hole. If I can see it this way, that would be great. Don't know that I will, not today. There we go, up through there. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lengthen my thread a little bit. I'm gonna go through here, the bottom. So this stretches all the way across. And now I'm gonna come back up, but I don't wanna split my thread. And if you split your thread, you're just gonna have a very hard time tightening your book and it just weakens the thread. So we wanna get it through here without splitting the thread. Okay, it's given me a little bit of a challenge. Whoops, that's okay. There. Well, 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 only on a video. Did it make a whole new hole? Yes, it did. It's all right. We'll get it. There we go. Okay. That's not going to show. Don't worry. I'm not worried. All right. Take my needle out. Put it back so I don't lose it. And now I want one thread on one side of that middle of this middle and one on the other. So you can see I am right here through the middle. I'm giving it a good tightening. Check in the back. It could be a little tighter. Okay. You don't want to rip your paper, but you do want it nice and snug. Nothing worse than a journal that's all loose. Ooh, that feels horrible. It's like that hair barrette that's trying to fall out of your hair. Ugh, it's a horrible feeling. Giving it a three go. And then I'll put a tiny little bow. Good. And now I'm gonna just give this a little trim. Not, not long enough to keep. And let's look at our beautiful journal. We're gonna go page by page. And if there's something horribly wrong, I'm just gonna take the stitching out and do it again. It's not a problem. All right. Now, it wants to spring open, of course, but it'll calm down. Now, front, nice pocket, page one, and I'm just gonna be paging through so you can just see what we've got going on here. This is a little plain, and it's very possible that this might be a place that if I want to put a pocket, that's where, you know, a, a place like this. And why would I put a pocket in? Well, maybe I've got some little watercolors that I want to add in here, or maybe it's a gift. Maybe someone sends me some, like, uh, artist trading cards that I want to tuck into my little watercolor journal. You never know. And this, which I think... I know her head's cut off. I didn't cut it off, but I just love this sweater and these little flowers. thought that was pretty. Here, another doily. And there's our middle. So I'm going to go through this a little bit faster, but I just kind of would like to check where we're at. And the fact that I have two holes in the middle, did that bother you? You didn't even know. You forgot about it. 
Yep. That's what I mean. And that washi tape that's on the dictionary page. No problem. I just love the way that came out. I think it makes it look kind of fancy. And like I said, I don't mind the red and the green. And there's our dictionary page. And voila! This is ready for me to journal in. Now, closure. Before I decide on a closure, I am going to, and, there, and there's all kinds of them. I am going to put this under a heavy, heavy book or books and just let this relax like overnight. Really let it relax. And then I'll see what kind, because do I want it stretchy? Do I just want a tie? Maybe I don't want any. We'll just have to see. But I think our journal is fantastic. Now, this is the last video of this series. So if you just found this right now, go ahead and subscribe. I need subscribers. And then you can head over and just look at uh, Beginner Watercolor and all the pages that we did together are in here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thumbs up because you enjoyed it so much. Subscribe if you haven't. Today's a great day to subscribe. Over here, you're going to find a video that's been picked out just for you. I'll see you over there.